what up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys this technique I came up with with the Sapphire Suite by Boris FX. Now, one of my favorite games to play right now is Apex Legends by Respawn, and I like the thing that they do at the top, the banner with the three characters. The characters kind of remind me of the style that they did for Grand Theft Auto V, and so I know there's similar um, tutorials online how to do this in Photoshop, so I thought it'd be cool to show you guys how to do it in After Effects because in After Effects, it's all non-destructive, and so we could take our plugins, copy them, and then paste them onto another layer to get a similar effect in case you want to do it across like a whole spectrum of images. And so if you want to follow along, make sure you go to borseffects.com, download the trial version, and if you're digging it, make sure you come back type in keyword Wimbush before you check out and you'll save 15%. So without further ado, let's get started. What up, what up? So as I was saying, Apex Legends, one of my favorite games right now. So we're gonna try to accomplish this look here that they use on their banner and on our front page. And let me zoom in a little bit here to Gibraltar. So we can see it kind of has like this cartoony look. And what I'm gonna to try to accomplish here is using this live photo that I found online. If you wanna use this photo as well, look down in the description. I have a link to it, it's free to download. And so, um, yeah, let's get right into it. So as I was saying, we're gonna be using the Sapphire Suite from Boris FX. So first though, I wanna add a shadow and highlight. So I come over to my right, effects presets, type in shadow, and then I'm gonna just look for shadow and highlight under color correction. So I drag that over, give this a second to kick in, and we can see it brightens up our photo, kind of adding a little bit of the um, highlights in there so we can see the detail. So again, I'll click off. This is what it looks like when it's off, and this is what it looks like when it's on. So next, I'm gonna type in cartoon into my effects and presets. And as you can see, I have several options over here, and this is because I have the Boris effect suite, and so we have continuum, um, cartoon effects we have the stylized cartoon which comes inside of after effects but the one that i'm going to be using is under sapphire stylized and it's s underscore cartoon and the reason i like using the sapphire cartoon over the one that comes with after effects is because we have a lot more attributes here and we have a lot more control over what we're trying to accomplish and also if i click on load preset and give us a second to kick in it would give us a good starting point where we could kind of take it and manipulate it from there. And so as you can see down here in the bottom, we have all these presets to start with. So this is what the default lo um, looks like. And I'm gonna go by cartoon strip. So I'm gonna use this, it kind of looks like an oil paint a little bit, and I like that as my jumping off point. So I'm gonna click on that, click load, give this a second to load in. So now we kind of have like this oil painting look. And I want to bring up the like the black edges a little bit. So if I come over to my, let's see, my strength. Let's kick this up a little bit for edge strength. Let's see what 0.6 looks like. Okay, yeah, so we're starting to get some of the edging in on the face. So we can see kind of the, the contour lines and the highlights. So if I, now 0.9 is a little bit too much. So let me say 0.7. Okay, so I like it there at 0.7 but when we added this effect it softened it a little bit so i'm going to go back to my effects and presets and type in unsharpen there if i type in unsharp under blur and sharpen i'm going to drag over to unmask um i'm uh, sorry unsharp mask and bring this in and then under radius i bring this up to like four and for my amount bring this up to 75 and this kind of just brings in the detail a little bit more. So if I click this off, you can see it's a little bit softer. And when I click it on, it makes it a little bit sharper. Just those little details that we want there. So I'm gonna click back in my fix and presets and I'm gonna type in POST because I wanna try to find posterized. And again, After Effects comes with a posterized um, plugin here but I'm gonna use the Sapphire Posterize because again, it gives us some loads. Um, it loads us with presets and it gives us more attributes to work with. So if I type in, or not type in, if I click on load preset, give this a second to kick in, we're gonna have a whole plethora of presets to start with down here. So let me see. So that's what the default looks like, which gives me close, but let me click on complete, see what that looks like. 
maybe pop art no i'm gonna go with the default version here i think that gets us closer to what we're looking for here so i'm gonna click on load and now we have pretty good or it's pretty close looking to gibraltar here let me come down to my smooth edge let me click this up by like 0.3 see what that looks like okay maybe 0.9 that smoothed it out a little bit too much so let's try 0.5 there we go i kind of like that and then let's save for smooth source let's see what one looks like and this all depends on your photo too like it depends on your lighting and the person that you have in your photo as to what these attributes are going to look like so if you're following along with this exact photo it's going to look like this but if you're using something of your own you just want to come down here and play with these different settings to see what happens here so for smooth source i did five let me see smooth edge let me click back in here a little bit let's see what happens when i hit one now go back to 0.5 see what happens when i click amount up to 0.5 now that smoothed it out way too much. 0.2. I like the better at 0.1. And there we go. So I think that kind of accomplishes what we're looking to do. Kind of make our real photo look like a figure from Apex Legend or Grand Theft Auto 5, whatever game that you like to play. And the cool thing about doing this in After Effects is it's all non destructive. So if I turn off all these effects, this is what my original photo looks like. And then if I turn my effects on, this is what we get. And so I can also come in here and just select all these and hit control and hit C for copy. And I can apply these effects to other photos. So I have this other photo here, which I'll leave in the description as well. So you can follow along with this one too. And um, so I have this photo here of this girl. He scrolls down. And I'm gonna click on my link down here in the timeline. And I'm gonna just hit Control V to paste all my effects in there. Give this a second to roll in. And right off the bat, it gives us something pretty similar to work with. And then from there, you kind of just go in. And if you don't like the way that it looks, you can always just go into the attributes. Just click on amount, say 0.2. Bring this up a little bit. And then maybe come down to my cartoon. For edge width, maybe let's bring this down to like three. Yeah, see? And so it's all about just going in, playing with the different attributes here on the right hand side and really dialing it in. But right off the bat, I think it looks pretty close to the effect that we're trying to get. And so once again, this is using the Sapphire Suite. If you want to follow along, make sure you go on to download the trial. And then if you like it, use keyword Wimbush and I'll actually save you 15% off of the suite. So you can't get a better deal than that. And that's basically all that I wanted to cover for this tutorial. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And as always, keep creating. I'll see you next time.